looking at lesson five from unit six of fourth grade everyday math building a connection between the full circle protractor and a clock the directions on page 152 tell us that there are 360 marks around this circle that's these little guys here they divide the edge of the circle into 360 small spaces 12 of the marks are longer than the rest. They are the same as the position of the 12 numbers around the clock face. So, we see here on page 152 that we have a clock face in the middle that goes from 12 to 1 and back around to 12. And we have this other part of a full circle protractor, which is used to measure angles. And between each of the large marks on a protractor are 30 degrees. So we start here at our top one at 0 degrees. The little mark here, that's our degree mark. So we want to make sure we label these numbers so we know how we're using them. This is our 0, and we move to 30. Normally we go from 12 to 1 on a clock. On a protractor, on a full circle protractor, 0 to 30 comes next is another 30, so 30 plus 30 gives us 60, and then here is 90 degrees, so that's 60 plus our 30 makes it to 90, and we should see a connection here to a 90 degree angle, a right angle. You should know what that looks like, and there we see it. Okay, Take a moment to complete the rest of your full circle protractor. Your full circle protractor should now look like this. Where it comes around and adds another 30 degrees to each large mark that you get. The last part that you may not have done is this mark gets us 330 degrees right here. But there is this part left here. So this mark is both 0 degrees and 360 because it's 330 plus another 30 degrees is 360 degrees. So when we look at the clock and we're thinking minutes, we move five minutes between each number, right? Five minutes between each. Five, 10, 15, 20. In degrees, on a full circle protractor, we're moving 30 degrees. 30, 60, 90. Looking at your next page, page 153, we're going to use this to help us complete this page. <coughs> so, using the clock that we have on page 152 with the full circle protractor, we're going to try to answer these questions. How many minutes and how many degrees does the minute hand move? So from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, how many minutes is that? That's one hour of time. We know that one hour is 60 minutes. How many degrees would it take to move 60 minutes? Remember, 60 minutes uses all the way around. So 60 minutes, looking at it here, it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. It's all the way around for one hour, 60 minutes. So when we're looking at degrees all the way around, it's 360 degrees. And they already put the degree marker there. I like to trace it, just so I remember to put it. The next question is going from 7 o'clock so 7.45. So how many minutes is that? It's 45 minutes. And 45 minutes on a clock, starting at our zero. 45 minutes on a clock goes to the nine. That's our 45. So we're going from 12 to nine on our clock. We're going from zero to 270 on our full circle protractor. So that is 270 degrees. Now it makes sense that as we got less minutes, we got less degrees. If 
45 is less than 60, 270 is less than 360. Do your best to complete the rest of this page on your own.